let me give you an update of what we're doing here today. The shop man has been very busy since day one. We got Josh shop today. Congratulations, y'all, for getting married. We got the Dodge Ram. I didn't get to show you guys the whole vlog. We did the grill lights on this bad boy. We did the underglow on the bad boy. We did the wheel lights on this bad boy. We also did the power steps. So you open up the side of the door. Open up the door, Drew. And the steps come down. Y'all see that? So we also got the power steps going on. Boom, 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 and then it closes up when you close the door. And the underglow, done truly by your boy Drew over here in the building, man. He handled it today. That one's out the door. We're about to move this one out to get to a couple other projects we have going on. I'm going to show y'all what's going on. So we got the old school back that y'all just saw. I got this Dodge Ram. It could be a big-ass build we're going to be working on now. We got this beautiful 2019 Dodge Ram here from one of my guys. Um, customized for a long time. I love this truck, especially with this new Tesla screen that comes factory on this bad boy. I don't know if y'all ever got this. In fact, let me get in here and show y'all what it's like. So you got this big old Tesla screen in this bad boy that allows it to have uh, pretty much everything you want to. I'm gonna turn it on real quick. It is a diesel, but it's a quiet diesel. That is a Uconnect unit, and you have all of that. But look at the camera, guys. You got 360 camera, you got the reverse camera. It's got everything you could possibly think about. This is a truck I was actually thinking about buying. Um, I actually do love this truck a lot. And after driving this one today, earlier today, the 2500 series and it's lifted, I might buy me a big old truck, man. I actually like this truck a lot, y'all. So this one I'm about to put in the front of the shop right now and I'll show you some of the other builds. We got some big builds today. We're short for uh, one guy. So we do have Josh getting married today, but I'll be back in a minute history of the shop i never thought i would have another superstar walk into the shop we've had a couple come in like terrence ferguson and other guys oklahoma thunder and so on but guys this is an old school legend he was known for the a team y'all probably know him as mr t i want to introduce you guys to mr t today he walked in the building what do you have to say to everybody here today <laughs> mr t well uh, through the years he lost some color um uh, I, I think he was bleaching himself i don't know what it is but mr t what you got to say today to everybody <laughs> the guys, this is Twan, the guy who owns that smart car that y'all saw, like a very large smart car. That won trophies. That won trophies and everything, and he had it totaled on the highway, and we're about to build. Total. They totaled the smart car. Yeah. He totaled his smart car. Dang, it was, I didn't know that. Yeah, he totaled the smart car, so now we get the privilege of building another car, which is okay, I guess, and at uh, some point sad for him, okay for us. Let's do what we have to do. I'll be right back. We're here working, doing our thing. I got a car being dropped off from Miami, Florida for us to put our hands on to customize it. You can see it's right now in the trailer. We are right now grabbing a vehicle and dropping it down to be able to do a complete new install on this bad boy all the way from Miami, Florida. Came to Audio Zone in Irving, Texas to get this car built. So that's success because we work hard, we push hard, and we do our best. So this car actually came from Miami, Florida. You can see the Florida tag. Yeah, it's crazy. They didn't talk to Texas. Got Texas tags? Yeah. But this car came, you brought it from Florida? Eh? Go to La Florida. Hey. From Florida here, the Miami. Yeah. I'm surprised it got Texas tag, but it got Texas tag, but the car's all the way here from Florida. Uh, they're actually dropping it off here because customers saw our video on YouTube, wanted us to customize the car. So I am going to grab this car now and uh, do a full vlog on it. From beginning to end, so you can see what a big build's gonna be like. This one's gonna be a great big build. We're gonna work really hard and get it to be perfect. We should have it done in a few minutes. I'm gonna go bring the car to the back. In fact, let me video the whole car, so I'm not responsible for damages. But the car did come from Miami, Florida to Texas. I don't really see nothing wrong with the car. I see the car clean. And she will be coming down from the bay right now. All the way from Miami to, down to Texas, y'all. So we're going to keep on doing our thing here. I'll be back. That body's ready to go. And uh, we're about to pick up this or drop off one and pick it up. Pick up the other one and go get it going. So we are on our way. Right now, we're pops in the building to be able to go pick up this, um, the one of the wide body we just finished. We got another one that just came in from Miami, Florida. We got this one we're dropping off, guys. We're doing wide body frenzy over here at Audio Zone, 1230 North Beltline Road. We are here to serve you, here to do what we need to do. Come and check us out, man. If you need it done, we're guaranteed to make it the best possible. Make sure you're happy. Come and check us in every time. So we're at the body shop, my boy, where he gets to doing the paint work and preparation for the vehicle. This is the car right here. You see it's a 2019 TA Dodge Challenger. There is no wide body on this car today, as you can tell. Everything is completely stock and normal. All the stuff is installed in the back, but this will be getting done and completed. We should have this car out by in a couple of days, maybe four to five days. I want you to see it today. So when you see it again, you'll see what we're doing here at Audi Zone at 12:30 North Bell Line Road in Irving, Texas. Collaboration with a lot of shops that we deal with. We work together to do the best and bring you the best and nothing but the best. Just come down to the shop and check us out anytime. I don't know if you're ready, but I will show you this 2015 Dodge Challenger 
in the lime green. We just got done with the white body. It is gonna be coming out of here right now. Y'all gonna be the first ones to see it before the customer sees it. This is the car. So we have installed the whole wide body to the vehicle. You can tell it's all here. Everything's all perfect here. Everything's all perfect here. This is what we're doing here at Audi's and I'm about to go reveal it to the customer. So I'll show you guys a couple more when I get done with it at the shop and I'm about to drive it to the shop to uh, get it all prepped and ready for the customer to pick it up. And he could come and pick up this car, take it with the man. But again, Wide Body Central, 1230 North Beltline Road here in Irving, Texas. Come and check us out. We'll give you guys an update. I came to pick up the car. Um, I wasn't happy with something. It wasn't really a major thing. I'm not gonna lie about it, but it is something that I know is major to me because if I give you a car, guys, I want it to be as perfect as possible. Um, I wasn't really happy, so I told him he has to keep it and get it fixed. I, I have to get it done right. Uh, I got two more white bodies in town, one from Miami that y'all just saw, one that came in from another part of town, I don't know where, somewhere in Texas. So I am definitely right now at this point in time uh, working on getting this situated and going. I'll be, just, be back in a minute. Michael, we're at the shop. We got something beautiful in store for this young man. State your name for the camera. Tell everybody who you are. Uh, my name is Alejandro. Tell us about your car. I don't know. It's mine. She is a beauty. She is a beauty. The color, this is still one of the hardest colors, I believe, that's out there, man. This is IG. XJX.85. He got a beautiful car here, man. We're about to do this car wide body for him, but we did a different upgrade for him today, and I just want to show y'all to it, man. He got the Luminates badge. He got it right now in a pink color. He can change it to blue, red, orange, anything you want to. He's got the color, man. So we get this done here at Audio Zone 2. If you got a illuminated badge, if you need a illuminated badge, come and check us out here. We'll definitely get it going for him. I can't wait to get mine done for my car, but they just haven't had it in stock the way I want it to be done because they got the 392 and so on. But I will get it soon, guys. We're going to tell you guys, man, it's just a thing. And again, you see this car? That car you got here from Miami to get the wide body done. We're going to convert that 08 to a 015 Hellcat bumper front end, everything wide body, custom built car complete. That's coming soon. And then we got Mr. Audio Fock in the building, which you know, he's, I don't even know what he should change his name to like Street Race to 6.0 or something, you know, because that's what he do, man. But I'll be back with y'all in a minute. Little tease, man. We got my boy Battle Cat up in the building, man. You know him on IG. One of the fastest uh, Hellcats in the DFW area. Very fair car, but it's also streetable. So it's not one of the fastest cars that you're going to see with a full drag setup. It's a full daily driven charge your Hellcat in the area like really fast, man. This is Battle Cat if you haven't met him. He says, Gap. Not cap. Say, say it better. That's gapping, not cap. And then when he said this gapping, I want you to say he's Black Battle Cat on IG, man. He's actually a really cool guy. If you don't know him, go ahead and follow him. But he's like I said, he's got one of the charges out here that got you really fast, being a daily driven car. So he can drive a car to work and still go to the track, put his setup, and go have fun. It's not like some of these fully built Hellcats that don't have fun. Can't tell you the time, so if you ever go make a bet, then hey, that's your problem. You run against him, but I am gonna tell you his fast. We had a pleasure of doing a couple things for his car before, doing some other things for his vehicle. We added some base and did a couple things, but we had the privilege of touching his new baby, and he had bought in this beautiful Ford truck. We just got those wheels installed, guys. So we got these brand new Luxes on there. He went with the 24 inch. He's running the 305, the 295 on it. All around the truck actually looks very, very beautiful. The next project we're doing to the bad boy is actually gonna be sound. drop. When we drop it, yep. We're gonna drop it and we're gonna do the sound systems to get him, you know, to enjoy his ride, man. So I mean, this could not be the first time or the last time you're gonna see this car. You're definitely gonna see it again. It's always been a privilege to serve him. I had him come back to bring it because I didn't get to vlog it when the car got done. But I brought it to you guys so you guys can see if you need the wheels and tires, you guys know where we at, 1230 North Beltline Road here in Irving, Texas. Uh, it's been a, a great growth that we've had. Glory be to God first for the growth. Uh, we got cars, like I said, coming from the cross nation. Y'all hear this, right? This is your, the man, my dad gets, my dad be laughing because we get cars and stuff like this come by here and do a donut or do a burnout just to mess with the shop. So we are Mopar Nation out here, but you know, he's a Mopar guy, but he got a Ford, man, this is his truck. But like I said, check him out on IG, man. It's Black Battle Cat, B-L, B-L-A-K. Battle Cat, so you can see it right here. Black Battle Cat, check him out, man. Give him a comment, let him know you come from Audio Cat, man. He's a great guy, though. You can love the videos. He does really good out there. I need, I need, I need a suggestion. I'm curious. So I bought this truck, and if you notice, it has uh, chrome accents. I'm thinking, should I buy the chrome? Uh, what is it, bullets? Spikes. Uh, the spikes? Chrome spikes for the wheels, or should I just keep them black? Okay, guys, so this, this is the opinion. Um, hit him up in the comments, let him know, man. We want to actually hear y'all comment and see what you suggest. We want y'all to give him your opinion what he should do with the car. So I'm going to walk around the vehicle, show you what he's got done so far. He just got the truck, so it's a work in progress, man. But he's got the black lower. He got the black wheels. He got the black nuts. He wants to know if he could go with the spikes in black or chrome. He's also got some chrome axes that you guys see around here. The mirrors are black. He is black battle cast, so I say he could end up going black 
We'll find out what y'all say. Come and get it to wrap up the day. Everybody's all hands on deck on the last project. This diagram that you see here was done complete. We actually did four front speakers, back speakers, two amplifiers, one for four channel, one for bass. He provided his own subwoofer for his own box. Uh, we installed a double-din radio. Everything else is done and situated, so we're getting this rolling right now. Uh, give me a second, Drew's talking to me. All right, Cruz, Cruz, so we're rolling the day today. We're we'll bringing you this beautiful wide body we just got done today with. I can take a look at her. I get some of that sun glare out of there. She's not an original wide body, as you could tell. But she is done at this point in time. Another wide body done for the books. This one called the one hand. And she is done. Wide body install, y'all. Because y'all already know, man. If you need it done, hold on. I gotta learn this game. If y'all need it done, man, y'all already know where to come. Audio Zone, 1230 North Bell Line Road here in Irving, Texas. We got two more going out the door. We have a beautiful Challenger that came in from Florida. We have a Charger that came in from Texas that will also be coming out the door very shortly. Y'all stay posted for more builds, more vlogs on the, these great, incredible cars that we're getting to build here, man. But the black one, I'll show you a reveal in a few minutes. All right, guys, because this is what's going on. First of all, we got a beautiful Mustang GT 2020 up in the building. Actually, it's a beautiful car. We're gonna be setting up a race with Isaac and him, they're both manual. So if it comes to a driver's game, this is the 20, here's the 16, because they've got horsepower difference. How much, Isaac? 30 horsepower difference. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Anyway, guys, this is what's going on, man. We are at the finale of the Black Challenger wide body. Another one that we've been able to knock out of the store is right here behind me. I'm gonna show you guys. So right now, you can see the wide body is completely done and installed. Done. Now, we got our guy um, Josh over here working on installing the customer supply um, front splitter. I'm gonna be honest with you, uh, it's a little bit bigger than normal, but I mean, that's what the customer likes, that like we're gonna do. So he's installing that splitter to be able to get this car back together again and get it delivered to the client today. So we should have this black white body done. We got a couple more coming into you. Stay tuned. We are doing a Dodge Charger, not Challenger, a Dodge Charger wide body. Give me one of the next videos you're gonna be seeing very soon. Coming out of the shop, Charger wide body. Come just stay tuned, man, but I'll show you this one when it's done. Hi right, guys, so we're over here right now with Mr. Dusty and his girl Kelly that are here to actually pick up the, did I say that, are you his girl? I kind of no, took, no, no, okay. No. I messed up on that one, y'all, but it's all right. I always assume, and assume he's not a good thing as you can tell, but anyway, we got Dusty. He's the owner of the Black Challenger wide body. We just finished getting done for him. It's a TA, you've owned it for how long now? Uh, about two years. He's had it for about two years and you like the experience so far. Oh, yeah. What have you owned before that? A V6 Challenger. And before that? That's not a uh, Honey Sonata. Honey Sonata. So you went into the Mopar and you kind of stood yeah, there. Yeah. Uh, I agree. I've always had GMs and so on, but this is my Mopar and I love her. But now we got a great moment. We got to show him his car and get to uh, go have his uh, experience with his car. Look at the keys. I'm going to walk around and we're going to show him his vehicle. This is going to the top of that forward. Yeah, this is great. That's great. No, that's H1. All right, come on. Alright, Dusty. And you can't read. So, we're walking outside here to give Dusty his baby girl. Which is gonna be parked over here. Dusty, that's your girl. So right now he has the wide body on the car, it's a TA. Um, I know it could be a work in progress. People who do cars and they're into cars, they just end up doing a lot of things out there. I'm gonna give you a few suggestions that I do have for you in the future. But uh, my point is, you gotta got a car. So Dusty, this is your vehicle. It doesn't look the same as you used to. I know that 100%. Now you're gonna go do what you have to do to get it all situated, but I know that maybe how you feel about the new look. Wow. You like the new look, you're gonna enjoy it. So guys, we got it done. We got another one here, 1230 North Bell Line Road here in Irving, Texas, man. Mr. Dusty, the owner of this one. I'm pretty sure you're gonna see it on more videos because I'm gonna give some suggestions. Stuff that I'm gonna do myself up to my car. I like to share it with my team, with my group, with my customers, because pretty much that's what we're about, man. We're making everybody shine. So we'll be back in a few minutes.